Now here's some keyword research that I did on a topic of cellulite and if we look down here uh, these phrases are ordered by count with the highest count at the top. Now if we look down we can find some phrases that would make good main pages of a website. For example um, exercises for cellulite. People are always looking for uh, ways of exercising to remove their cellulite or let's take this next one cellulite treatment creams if we look at this you know this these results are from Google um, sorry these results are from word tracker using the Google engine so word tracker estimates that cellulite treatment creams are searched for 33 times a day and if we look at the competition there's only 4460 competing pages in Google at the time the data was researched that would make a great um, low competition, relatively high search phrase that we would have a realistic chance of competing for. So let's open up the LSI spy program and see where we would go from here. Okay, here's the main page, and what we would do is we type in cellulite treatment cream and we'll leave it at the USA there, we'll leave it on Google. If I want to I can do I can run a very in-depth check but I only want to check the top 10 listings and click on scan SEO top listings and then wait a few seconds for the software to do its thing. You can see the results loading up now. This is in real time and there we go it's now completed the analysis on the top 10 pages in Google this top section we have a summary of the results so we've got a list of the top 10 pages the word counts the whether the, the keyword is in the URL whether it's in the title the meta tags internal external links on the page the length of the domain name uh, whether that result is a subdomain the keyword frequency how many times it appears on the visible page the keyword percentage and the option to drill further now just quickly here uh, this might surprise a few people. The keyword count, the word count on the page. I often hear people talking about getting articles and content written for themselves, and they specify, you know, the usual specification is 350 words or more, you know, for up to 450 words. Well, if we look here, Google is ranking these pages in the top 10, and they are significantly larger than that. So, you know, it's a good idea to maybe look at the word count on your pages because. Um, it's possible that Google is giving preferential rankings to the, the to the longer content pages as long as the content is good quality. So anyway, we'll, let's go down and scroll down this uh, analysis. And what we can see here is the words or the theme words, if you like, that are related to our initial phrase of cellulite treatment cream. So we have cellulite treatment fat products, ingredients, scar, women, elastin, so on. These are all individual words that are found on the pages or in the meta tags of those top 10 results. And it tells you how many times each one was found as well. So the ones that are found more often are obviously the ones that are more important because they'll be found on more of the pages perhaps. Now, a nice thing is this, um, let's just scroll down a little bit, most frequently found word pairs because these give you more detailed um, phrases to include on your page. Stretch marks, cellulite treatment, uh, cellulite cream, skin matrix, scar tissue and so on. I mean these are all great related phrases to cellulite treatment and they're actual phrases that are found on real pages in the top 10. And these are the types of phrases that you need to be getting onto your page. Of course it's got to be in context and of course it's got to make sense. You've even got down here word triplets. These are the word triplets that are found on the top pages the most often. And again, you know, if these fit the theme of your page, you, you'd be worth trying to get them in as long as it makes sense and as long as you're not keyword stuffing. Here are the keyword uh, uh, keywords and phrases that are found in the meta tags of those top ten pages. This information is really useful because uh, it helps you to get an all-round picture of the particular topic. 
and it can also help you construct your own meta tags. Now we all know, or hopefully we all know, that the meta keyword tag isn't that useful for helping you to rank. In fact, it probably doesn't have any effect on your ranking, at least not in a positive way. However, the way I use keyword tags is more of a reminder to myself. I like to include relevant theme words that I want to include on the page and then when I'm checking my pages I know exactly which keywords and which theme words I want to include on that page and this provides me, this meta keyword tag provides me with a very quick check. But you can see just looking down that a wide variety of words and phrases that you might not even think of. Not all of them are totally related to the theme but then obviously there is some page in the top 10 that is off topic for some reason and Google hasn't done a very good job of returning the best phrases for the for the search term. Down at the bottom we have the LSI words listed here. These are the ones that you really need to look at and consider putting on your page because Google doesn't just look at keyword density of the main phrase. The main phrase, cellulite treatment creams, great. Uh, Google doesn't say, all right, let's find the page with the highest density or the density of exactly 4.7% and we'll mark that top. No, Google is a lot more, a lot cleverer than that. And what it'll do is it'll say, right, cellulite treatment creams. Now, cellulite treatment creams, a page on that should also include words like skin and fat and treatment and products, uh, ingredients, scar and whatever other phrases Google deems are, are complementary to the main phrase uh, cellulite treatment creams. Well here you have that list, here's the list of phrases. Not all of them you would want to include on your page perhaps, but certainly this is a great starting point you can quite easily copy and paste those into your favorite editor, te text editor or HTML editor. And here are the meta keyword tags that are actually used. Now these are the ones that other websites have already researched and found to be the ones they want to target on their site. So these ones you should pay particular attention to and perhaps pick out the best ones and you know, use those in your meta keyword tags and use those as the basis for your article. So this tool, this LSI Spy, is a fantastic tool to tell you exactly which words you want to include on your page.